So here we are setting out on a walk. Uh, typically we uh, park the car here by the sidewalk to avoid the, uh, the parking charges. All right, off we go. How many times do you reckon you've done this one, Dad? Oh, a few hundred, I reckon. So, Dad, show. Uh, whereabouts did the floods uh, come up to uh, during the winter? Oh, up over there where the cafeteria is, right up to the top of the uh, brickwork there. Yeah. In fact, I think it was lapping just short of the uh, cafeteria. Yep. Couldn't see the playground or anything. Straight over. where we get serious. We go off the beaten path that the tourists would take and we go Duck Reach Power Station on the back trails. Follow me. Hey, you've always been known for your copious amounts of sunscreen. <laughs> you've uh, never uh, never too concerned about rubbing it into completion, have you? Well, well you can always bought, buy more sunscreen, but you can't buy more skin. <laughs> Duck the head on that one. Yeah. This would be the steepest part of the, well, steepest part of the first half of the walk, the outgoing part. Yeah. But more is to come. Nice little advantage point here, about uh, 30 minutes into the walk. We've got about another 10, 15 minutes to go up to the power station, and then we're going to cross the river, and then we're going to see a serious hill that we need to get up. There's the destination, the bridge to the power station. See you in 10. One day photographers have any more fun than I do, but they have less disappointments. Yeah, and what was it like when you had to, you'd take your shots and then you'd have to wait a week until you got your images back? Yeah, it was hard to wait. These days... I thought you could get them in three days. Oh, I can't believe it. That's as far as they can go. So would you say this is about halfway, Dad? Yeah, halfway in distance, but you've got the big steep walk to come and then downhill back to the basins, very rocky, so that's tough. This is the big hill we're talking about, behind the old power station. Was that washed away in the floods in, what was oh, it, the bridge was. Oh, right. The bridge was, yeah, it's been washed away twice, I think. And there's that big pipe that used to bring the water down to the power station. You know? People used to, people often swim here with their families. Yeah. But uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful walk. So shoe coming off here, Dad. Yep, just to give the bunion a spell. Yep. Yeah. Now, people often ask me, as the experienced woodsman that I am, just what did you carry on a, a walk like this? Well, we've got uh, in here, obviously, jumper that we had earlier, coats in case it gets. Uh, Cool. And of course, the essentials, Pringles, just to keep you going in that, those tough times. <laughs> All right, well, I better better ask you a question now because you'll be puffing in a minute. Yeah. This, uh, this is by far the toughest part of the trip, right? Yes. Okay. The man's been lost and never found again. All right, well, let's uh, get into it. Yeah. 
So before we had Disneyland and water slides, this is what we had. Just imagine the tourists, they could come down in a gush of water. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice old house. Got burnt down. Uh, had a bad fire, that old house. All right. So even though this looks the uh, placid part of the walk, you can always be pulled up by a tree root or a rock. Yes, now looking at the view, you've got to watch where your feet are going. This is where I met an echidna one day. You in a five minute standoff with him, weren't you? Well, I was going to have some water, but he spiked my drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. On the homeward stretch, uh, downhill but pretty rocky. We should make it. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I didn't have the camera ready. I think we just saw, was it a potteroo, do you think? It could have been a potteroo. The nicest uh, grassy areas in Tasmania. Yes, I'm sorry. Can you put on a display for me. So here we are with the final little test. I always thought it was poorly designed, the basin, where you have a swim to cool off yeah. and then you have to climb 60 metres to get back to the car. Yes, this is always a tough bit right at the end of a two hour walk. But, uh, it's got car, no choice. Is, no, car is waiting for us.